Hey guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to my channel. And the park is finally open. So here you can see all the guests coming in. Um, I wanted to open it. I wanted to open it at this stage. I want. I didn't want to just wait until the park was complete before letting them in. I wanted to, you know, be able to have a few episodes where the guests are wandering around and using the facilities. So uh, yeah, I thought it was a perfect time to open it up. So uh, as you can see, everyone crowding in now, and, the, and they will start to uh, to fill up the park. Now the plan for this episode, uh, as you can probably guess by the title, is building a go karts track. Uh, now, first off, I've got to put a disclaimer in here. I made a bit of a, an error, uh, which I, I mean, which you'll notice throughout this uh, throughout this episode. I started building the go karts on this corner. I, I wanted this to be the, like the sort of corner piece um, of the park here, uh, this go karts track, and the I built it underneath the gondolas. Now. I assumed the supports for the gondolas would vanish as I built underneath them, um, just like they have for the wooden coaster just here. But unfortunately, that hasn't happened, and there isn't a way you can turn off the supports for the gondolas, uh, as far as I'm aware anyway. If anyone else has found a way of doing it, then please let me know. Um, so annoyingly, there is uh, one or two sections on this uh, on this track where the supports and the posts that are holding up the gondolas sit um, either towards the edge of the uh, of the track or, or slightly off it it is a little bit frustrating um, however off camera um, I am going to try and adjust this I, you know I'm going to try and alter the layout a little a little bit the main one is uh, I've actually put the entrance hit you know this station there as you can see over the um, over the you know well, sorry underneath the gondola supports so yeah if you if you do notice that as we as we go on, that is that is why I am aware of it. Um, but it's it's just a little bit frustrating that you can't alter the supports or the supports don't don't vanish. I get I, I get why they're there though. Um, in terms of the scenery for this uh, for this go kart track, I don't want to I, I don't I don't want to theme it too heavily because if it's going to go into like a vintage park, you sort of classic fun fair parks that have go karts in. Um, it's never anything massively themed, so all I was, all I'm going for here, is just a bit of scenery, um, and followed by uh, a station building. Um, you know, so, sort of like a, uh, just sort of like a, you know, a, a station start really under, under cover. Uh, but everything else is just going to be outdoors, and it's going to have, um, it's going to have trees and landscaping around it, just to kind of uh, enclose it all. And I, I am quite happy how this uh, how this does turn, turn out here. I wanted to have a bit of a sign here just to add something to this section because I've gone over the path with it. Um, I like the idea of bringing the track over the path. So, and I did have a, a bit of space in that corner. I was kind of deciding on what to use to fill up, whether to put a flat ride in there or something. But I decided that filling up the uh, filling up that space with with the you know a section of this track was a uh, was a good use of it. So uh, yeah, really really happy with that. As you can see here, I'm just kind of plopping some trees around. Uh, I'm going, going back with a few different uh, different types of trees just to give it a bit of colour and a bit of difference. Um, but yeah, the, the whole the whole theme here is to just sort of um, just build it as if it's you know as, as if you're on go karts through a park, really. I suppose um, on the uh, on you know I've got the barriers up as we uh, as we go over as we go over the bridge, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to have a, a bit of planting around here and. Uh, you know, it, it just shows how simple trees and planting can, you know, can actually create a bit of, uh, you know, a, a bit of scenery for it. As as you know, if you've been following this series, I've never gone OTT with with the scenery. I wanted to keep it simple but effective, and I think that's what, you know, that's an example of what I've I've done here as well. Uh, just got a few more bushes here just to fill in those smaller spaces, um, and you know, just add, add some planting that isn't uh, isn't tall trees basically. Um, obviously, uh, talking about the guests opening, uh, you know, or coming into the park now that it's open, I do have to kind of change um, and make a few alterations with the paths. Um, I've not got benches, I've not got um, bins and lamp posting yet, but again, that's something I'll do towards the end off camera. Um, so uh, yeah, towards the end, we'll have a you know a, a nice big overview once everything is uh, is up and ready. So uh, yeah, here, here I'm just putting a queue line. Um, I was trying to work out the best way to put the queue line in. I didn't want it sat on the on the on the side. I did I did like the idea of it going over the track at some point, 
but I figured that going over the top of the station would be uh, would be a nicer way of doing it. So uh, yeah, here's the uh, here's the station build itself. Nothing nothing too fancy. It is just going to be um, you know a, a sort of box um, kind of uh, encap you know encapsulating the uh, the station itself. So uh, yeah, nothing uh, nothing too crazy. Just in here with a few lights uh, and. And a few flags as well, obviously with um, with the racing theme. I thought I'd utilise the the flags in the in the scenery section of the game. Uh, and you know, to be fair, I, th I think that the grey colour works quite well with uh, with the cars. So yeah, I just had to get this. Uh, I was trying to get the awkward shapes on the end of the on the end of the station there. I was trying to work out the best way to do that. As you can see, it kind of hangs over the edge a little bit, but. Um, I, got, I did manage to get there in the end, so uh, yeah, there's no no worries beyond that. Um, other than blocking the, uh, the the starting lights there with that wall, which was the main thing I was looking at. Um, yeah, so yeah, I mean, as you can see, there's another example of that that um, pole coming down from the uh, from the sky ride. So yeah, definitely, I may end up adjusting the station a little bit, maybe maybe making it shorter and having a track um weave around that post at some point but uh, yeah as i say i'll do that off camera and uh, and update you once i've done that um here's the lights i was going in i thought these sort of i know these are mainly sort of used in sort of space themed rides uh these fiberglass lights but i thought these look quite effective um at the starting grid for the for these go-karts so yeah really uh, really happy with this sort of with this sort of design just wanted to uh make sure that the whole area was kind of lit up and um Again, with the you know, once I go around with the lamp with the lamp posts um, and lighting around the paths, I'll be doing the same on the go kart track because that is one ride that you know really does need to be lit up at night time. But I, I just want to hit all the lighting in one go. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that that's my plan sort of towards the end. I've still got a couple of more episodes lined up as to what I want to do with this park, uh, whether that's putting another coaster, a log flume, a couple more flat rides, and you know may maybe another food area. Uh, but I think, you know, I think we've still got a couple more episodes uh, left in this anyway. Uh, I mean, the, the build limit, I believe, is only, I think it's just above 60%. So, you know, there's still plenty of room to be built in this park. Because I've kept it nice and simple, it's allowed me to sort of be a lot more laid back when it comes to the uh, the Oswald Eugene counter and, uh, and not actually getting close to that build limit. So, uh, yeah, it, it's, you know, it, it has been nice not having that, that concern um, if you followed my last series Lakeside Adventure towards the end of that I was getting close to the build limit um, and it did, it did mean I couldn't um, I couldn't put as much effort into the last section of that park as I would have liked um, however in you know in this park it's not an issue at the minute and I, and I don't foresee it being an issue um, because I don't want to overdo this park at all um, so yeah that, that's the station building done uh, just outside here I just want to put some some signage um, decided to call this uh, this rider uh, wacky races so yeah that that's that's the name we've gone for uh, and I just wanted some you know some bright lights basically ad advertising the uh, advertising the ride to the guests and then also along the edge here um, I have gone for um, some flags again just to stick in with the racing theme and just to uh, you know just to make the the entrance look sort of attractive from a distance uh, I may I may end up putting you know a few more signs up. I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll see I'll see what it looks like once I finish the area. Uh, and then obviously we've got the, there's these racing flags that I was trying to find a place to put in, but I thought uh, I thought I'd have a look at another um, you know once I'd finished this uh, this one I'm building now. So what, on the exit here, I've I've decided I want to start building a podium. Um, so I was trying to work out the best size for this because I didn't want to make it too small, but I obviously didn't want to. You know, make it to uh, you know, sort of taken away from uh, from the rest of the ride. But yeah, I feel as though in the end, I, I, I did manage to get this right with the sizes. Um, I think that the size cube I'd gone for there worked um, worked a lot better. So uh, yeah, as you can see there, we've got a uh, first, second, and third place, and then we can uh, the the flags that we found beforehand um, could go behind there. I, I, I did attempt to look at a few signs to put, you know, to put first, second, third on the front there, but there wasn't really that really suited it. But I mean, we all know the positions that people stand on on the podiums, so uh, yeah, I decided to stick the stick that there in front of the flags, and then that, you know, people obviously the guests aren't actually going to stand there because you can't sort of program them to do that. However, you know, it's just there for sort of uh, for aesthetics really more than anything. 
Uh, and then they just cleaned up a few of the uh, open green spaces down here, just with a few more bushes. Um, I think that's, uh, you know, I'm quite happy with how that looks there. So I think it's time to take a online uh, view of the go kart. So uh, yeah, start your engines. Here we go. And there we go. That is uh, that is Wacky Racers. So uh, yeah, really uh, really pleased with that. I do like the uh, I do like the landscaping surrounding it. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Please leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>